a man said. Choker, you may as well give up. You'll never win this war against us, the good people of the world. Chase from Paw Patrol has just had a new police station built. Look how big it is, said Chase. I didn't expect it to be this big. And Chase is expecting some of his best friends to come round to show him the big new police station for the Paw Patrol team. So I wonder where they are. Will they be long? I don't think they'll be that long. Surely not. And Chase said, there they are now. So in came Ryder with Peppa Pig and said, wow, look how big this place is. You did a great job, Chase, Peppa said. Come and have a look at the entrance and let's see what's inside. Wow. So Peppa went over to have a look inside and said, Oh, I can see someone in there. Should they be in there? I don't know, but let's make sure we double check. So Chase came back in and said, Watch this now. We'll open the main door. So opening the main door revealed Zuma. Wow, Zuma said. It's really cool in there, guys. Maybe we should check it out. But should we check out the helicopter pad up top first? So Peppa goes up top to have a look at the helicopter pad and said, Wow, we could park all our helicopters on you. But what does this big red button do? Wow, it's got big flashing lights. That's for when there's an emergency and we need to get out of this place quick. So come back down, shouted Ryder and Chase. Come on, Peppa. So Peppa went back down and said, Wow, look at this detention part. And Peppa didn't like that. That's for the baddies. That's not for us good guys, said Peppa. And Ryder said, Come on, Peppa, jump back on. It's time for us to go. And Peppa and Ryder thanked Chase for showing them the new police station and said, Right, we gotta go now, guys. So we'll see you next time leaving Chase and Zuma at the new police station. I wonder if the new police station will come into use someday. Don't forget to subscribe, said Chase. Rubble and Chase were at the Paw Patrol police station when they were just about to finish their shift. When a special guest comes over, Postman Pat. Hey, Postman Pat, shouted Rubble and Chase. And Postman Pat looked really worried. And he said, have you guys seen Jess, my little black and white cat, anywhere? And Rubble and Chase said, no, we haven't. Why, what's wrong? And Postman Pat said, I can't find her. I've been looking for her all morning. And I just can't find her anywhere. And I'm really worried. So Chase said, jump on. We'll go and see if we can find her anywhere. So Chase, Postman Pat and Rubble go in search of Jess, the black and white cat. I wonder where she is, said Rubble. Mike was at the Pontapandi workshop when Chase, Postman Pat and Rubble turned up. And Mike said, hey guys, let me get down from this ladder. Once he was down from the ladder, he said, what's up? And they all said, have you seen Jess, the black and white cat anywhere? Postman Pat's cat. Oh no, said Mike, I haven't seen her anywhere. You haven't lost her, have you? We think so. We're heading over to the Pontapandi fire station next to see if Sam Marshall and Officer Steele have seen her anywhere. So as they head over to the fire station, Marshall was working on Jupiter. Sam was just about to finish and Officer Steele was just headed out. When Chase and Postman Pat showed up and they all said, what's up guys? What's going on? We've lost Jess, the black and white cat. Postman's cat, you know. Oh no, said Fireman Sam and Marshall. Really? I love Jess. I'm sure she can't be far. Postman Pat said, come on, let's go and ask PC Selby to see if he's seen her anywhere. So they head off again. And PC Selby was at the 
police station. When Rubble said, Hey, PC Selby, how are you? You haven't seen Postman Pat's black and white cat Jess anywhere, have you, PC Selby? Oh no, she's not missing, is she? PC Selby said. She's my favourite cat of all time. We think so. We've been everywhere. We've been to see Mike at the workshop. We've seen Spider-Man Sam. And now we're here. But we still can't find her anywhere. And PC Selby said, make sure she's not at the post office. Great idea. We'll have to take Postman Pat back to his van at the police station in Paw Patrol. So once they head back to the Paw Patrol police station, Chase, Postman Pat and Rubble were all really really worried about Jess. I wonder where she is, said Rubble. I hope she's at the post office, said Chase. By the way, Chase, I have a package for you. It's a special delivery. Because of Jess, I've just forgot to give it to you, but you can have it now. So Postman Pat opens the van to get the package out. And oh no, there's Jess in the back of the van, said Rubble and Chase. Really? Where have you been, Jess? asked everyone. And Jess the cat just looked at him and said, I've been sleeping in the back of the van. It's so cosy in there next to the packages. Oh really? said Postman Pat. We've been everywhere looking for you. We thought you was lost. No, said Jess. I was just sleeping in the back of the van. So eventually they managed to find Jess, the black and white cat, and she was safe after all. So everyone can sleep easy knowing Jess is safe. Don't forget to subscribe, said Rubble. Peppa Pig wanted to go and see Rubble today, but there's a big stop sign, and Chase said, You can't come through by you, Peppa. It's a construction site. Why, what's going on? asked Peppa Pig. And everyone said, We're going to demolish this big building in the background. Really? said Peppa. Yeah, really, Chase said, and Tom Thomas was there to make sure everything was going smoothly. So Rubble started to drill the house down. But he realised that his little drill on the back of his little bulldozer wasn't big enough for the job. So Rubble said, Guys, I'm going to need a bigger machine for this. I'm going to go into the big crane, said Rubble, as he jumped out of his little tractor. All the way up there, he said. That's such a big crane. No way are you going all the way up there, said Chase. I really am, said Rubble. How brave are you, Pepper said. Not really brave, Rubble said. It's part of my job. It's all part of the construction site. So Rubble got to work with smashing the building down. So after Rubble had smashed down the building, it was all gone. Wow, said Pepper, Chase and Tom Thomas. I wonder what they'll build here now. I hear they're building a new school. That would make a great use of the new building plot that Rubble's created. And I'm sure Rubble will help to build the new school as well. So it just goes to show, working as a team, anything can be accomplished if you put your mind to it. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Pepper and George were at the park when it was snowing. It's lots of fun at the park when it's snowing, said Pepper. But George, are we going to go on the slide today? It's quite dangerous, 
So Peppa decides she'll go on the slide first. So we down she goes. And as Peppa got up, she said, look, look, look who it is. It's our friend Ryder, shouted George. And she couldn't believe it. And Ryder was on his quad. And that's how he's driving in the snow. And Ryder said, hey guys, how are you two today? Looks like you're having lots of fun in the snow on the slide. Wow, what a cool quad you have, said George. Do you think we could go on the back of it? Of course. That'd be really lots of fun. And who's this? It's Chase. Hey guys, do you need a lift or maybe? Because it looks like it's really dangerous. And I can use my front as a snowplow to clear a track for us so we can get home safely. So Chase clears a track. But Pepper slipped over, look. That's how dangerous it is today. Are you okay, Pepper? And Peppa was just fine, luckily enough. So come on in, guys, jump on. Who's going to go where? George is going to go on the back of Ryder. So that leaves Peppa to go on the back of Chase. So come on in, Peppa, jump on. So Peppa jumps on to the back of Chase. But Ryder can't help but mess about. And he starts doing little donuts. And it was lots and lots of fun. So off they go to Peppa Pig's house. Can you do that, Chase? Asked Peppa. So Chase tries his best to do what Ryder just did. It's lots of fun driving in the snow, but you've got to be careful. So don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Fireman Sam had just finished a busy day at the Pont de Pandy fire station when he was expecting a very special guest today. I wonder who could it be? Of course, it's none other than the one and only Marshall from Paw Patrol. And Marshall was dying to meet Sam and to see Jupiter. And Sam said, hey Marshall, how are you? Marshall was just fine today. And he was really excited about his trip to Pontypandy Fire Station. So Marshall jumps out of his fire engine and said, Hi Sam, it's finally nice to meet you. And Sam said, Same to you. I've been hearing such good things about the Paw Patrol rescue, I really wanted to get involved myself, Sam said. But Marshall said, I've always wanted to see what Pontypandy's all about. I've heard so much about it from Peppa Pig, Ryder and Chase and Zuma. Really? Sam said. Do you want to see Jupiter? Of course! So Marshall and Fireman Sam take a closer look at Jupiter. And Marshall has heard such good things about the famous Jupiter who's put out so many fires in her time. Wow! So cool! Look at all them wheels you got. You got so many doors as well. Have you had her long? She's been here from the start, said Sam. Years. So Marshall and Sam said, Maybe we could work as a team someday. That would be really cool. We could put fires out together, rescue people together, and drive our fire engines together. What a great idea, said Sam. Do you want to have a look at my fire engine, asked Marshall. Jump in, Sam. Don't be shy. So Sam jumps in to Marshall's fire engine and couldn't believe how nice it was. Wow, I love the fact I can just stand up while I'm driving. It gives me a chance to see everything that's going on. So today was just about Marshall and Fireman Sam meeting up and maybe being a team one day. Because everyone on the Pont de Pandy Paw Patrol love to work as a team. So Marshall's going to stick around for a bit, I think. And Sam's really in love with Marshall's fire engine. Don't forget to subscribe. Zuma was out on his hovercraft in the middle of the ocean. When all of a sudden... The engines give way, and it breaks down. Oh no, Zuma said. What am I going to do now? As he looked really worried. And what he decided to do was phone for help. 
So who did he phone? Of course, he phones Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig to come to the rescue. But Sam was working on his helicopter when he used the alarms going off. So he rushes down to see what was happening on the radar. Come on, Pepper, he shouted. Let's go. So Pepper goes down the lift to head to the radar station. But on the radar station, they could see where Zuma was located. So shall we take the jet ski or shall we take Viper, the fireboat? Let's take the boat. It might be better. Maybe Zuma can jump on. Let's go. So they both jumped into the Titan and off they go to save Zuma. Meanwhile, Zuma just waited patiently. But he didn't have to wait long because Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig were there in great time. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, he said. I've been really worried. My engine's broke. So how, how are we going to get my hovercraft back? What we'll do is we'll push you back to the Ocean Rescue Centre down in Pontapandi. And then we can have a look and see if we can fix it. So Pepper and Sam pushed Zuma all the way back to the Pontapandi Rescue Centre. There's nothing they wouldn't do for one of their friends. So once they were back at the Pontapandi Rescue Centre, they could all relax and everyone was safe. And that's the main thing. But Zuma couldn't thank Pepper and Fireman Sam enough. But at least you're safe. That's the main thing, Sam said. There's no need to worry now. We'll get your hovercraft fixed and you'll be on your way. Oh, thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe Chase for more from cool Paw videos. Patrol, said has Pepper. just had a new police station built. Look how big it is, said Chase. I didn't expect it to be this big. And Chase is expecting some of his best friends to come round to show him the big new police station for the Paw Patrol team. So I wonder where they are. Will they be long? I don't think they'll be that long. Surely not. And she said, there they are now. So in came Ryder with Peppa Pig and said, wow, look how big this place is. You did a great job, Chase, Peppa said. Come and have a look at the entrance and let's see what's inside. Wow. So Peppa went over to have a look inside. And said, oh, I can see someone in there. Should they be in there? I don't know, but let's make sure we double check. So Chase came back in and said, watch this now. We'll open the main door. So opening the main door revealed Zuma. Wow, Zuma said. It's really cool in there, guys. Maybe we should check it out. But should we check out the helicopter pad up top first? So Peppa goes up top. To have a look at the helicopter pad and said wow we could park all our helicopters on you but what does this big red button do wow it's got big flashing lights that's for when there's emergency and we need to get out of this place quick come back down shouted Ryder and chase come on pepper so pepper went back down and said wow look at this detention part and pepper didn't like that that's for the baddies. That's not for us good guys, said Pepper. And Ryder said, come on, Pepper, jump back on. It's time for us to go. And Pepper and Ryder thanked Chase for showing them the new police station. And said, right, we gotta go now, guys. So we'll see you next time. Leaving Chase and Zuma at the new police station. I wonder if the new police station would come into use someday. Pepper and George, don't forget to subscribe, park, said Chase. When it was snowing. It's lots of fun at the park when it's snowing, said Pepper. But George, are we going to go on the slide today? It's quite dangerous. So Pepper decides she'll go on the slide first. So, wee, down she goes. And as Pepper got up, she said, look, look, look who it is. 
his old friend Ryder, shouted George. And she couldn't believe it, and Ryder was on his quad, and that's how he's driving, in the snow. And Ryder said, hey guys, how are you two today? Looks like you're having lots of fun in the snow, on the slide. Wow, what a cool quad you have, said George. Do you think we could go on the back of it? Of course. That'd be really lots of fun. And who's this? It's Chase. Hey guys, do you need a lift or maybe? Because it looks like it's really dangerous. And I can use my front as a snowplow to clear a track for us so we can get home safely. So Chase clears a track. But Pepper slipped over, look. That's how dangerous it is today. Are you okay, Pepper? And Pepper was just fine, luckily enough. So come on in, guys, jump on. Who's going to go where? George is going to go on the back of Ryder. So that leaves Pepper to go on the back of Chase. So come on in, Pepper. Jump on. So Peppa jumps on to the back of Chase, but Ryder can't help but mess about, and he starts doing little donuts, and it was lots and lots of fun. So off they go to Peppa Pig's house. Can you do that, Chase? asked Peppa. So Chase tries his best to do what Ryder just did. It's lots of fun driving in the snow, but you've got to be careful. Bye, your man, Sam. So don't forget to Peppa subscribe. Peppa Pig had just Dead been out Peppa. on the open ocean doing their daily checks to make sure that the Ponta Pandy seaside is all safe. And today was a very cool day because everything was just fine on the ocean. When Peppa stands up and said, look Sam, it's Zuma from Paw Patrol. I wonder what Zuma's doing around these parts. Hey guys, Zuma said, how are you today? Do you think we could have a chat inside? Hey, said Sam, what do you want to chat about, Zuma? Are you, is everything okay? Yeah, there's no emergency today. So they went inside, and Peppa was just on the computer, and Fireman Sam was just hanging his jacket up, when Zuma said, Guys, do you think that it, it would be cool if I could join the Ponta Pandy rescue team on the lifeboat side of things? What a cool idea, Peppa said. And Sam said, that is a really cool idea. We could always do with an extra pair of hands. Or in your case, an extra pair of paws. It would be really cool. So what could I do? Asked Zuma. Well, you'd have to do a load of training first, said Sam and Pepper. But it's definitely an option. And Zuma got really excited. And couldn't believe that Sam and Pepper was thinking about leaving him be a part of the team. And Zuma was really excited, so he starts going round and round in circles, and he said, look Sam, look what I can do on my hovercraft. Wow! And the best part is, I can do this over sand, or grass. So if there's ever an emergency, that involves me going onto the beach quickly, I can do it. That was really cool Zuma, you did a great job. So maybe, soon, you'll have a cool training course to go through with Pepper and Fireman Sam. But that's for another day. So Sam and Pepper were really excited about training up Zuma. And right Zuma there. couldn't believe his luck. And Zuma is out for Sam and Nurse Flood. Fireman Sam said, you are definitely the best postman around, postman Pat. Don't forget to subscribe. A fisherman is at sea, fishing for some fish. He's trying to catch crabs, lobsters, and some fish to take home. And once he catches a fish, it's actually a crab and he doesn't like crabs. So he chucks the crab into the bucket and he steps onto the edge of the boat. But being uncareful, he accidentally fell in. Oh no, this is really dangerous. And the boat starts to float away from the fisherman, nearly taking it with him, as he shouts for help. Meanwhile, Zuma from Paw Patrol comes flying over really quickly. 
and he says, quick, I've phoned Sam. And he chucks him the life boy. So the fisherman manages to put the boy, the life boy, by Zuma, chucking him this. It could have saved his life. Oh, thanks, the fisherman said to Zuma. You really saved me. We waiting for Sam. So Fireman Sam comes along, a Neptune, and he says to the fisherman, Hold on, I'll come and get you now. So Sam puts his hand out to grab the fisherman, and he grabs the fisherman and chucks him on the back of Neptune. Finally I'm safe, said the fisherman, with great relief. So Sam heads back over to the fisherman's boat, and it was up to the fisherman to walk on and climb back on his boat. And he said, do you guys want to do some fishing with me? I don't know how I can repay you in any other way. Great idea, Zuma, and Sam said. I'd love to do a little bit of fishing with you. But you have to be really careful, and promise me you'll keep one of these lifeboats and wear a life jacket next time. Of course, the fisherman said. I'll be extra careful from now on. I promise. So they get the fishing rod out, and they start fishing again. But at least this time, he knows to be safe. And at least Sam and Zuma have saved the day again. Don't forget to subscribe, said Sam. Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig had just been out on the open ocean, doing their daily checks to make sure that the Pontapandi seaside is all safe. And today was a very cool day, because everything was just fine on the ocean. When Peppa stands up and said, look, Sam, it's Zuma from Paw Patrol. I wonder what Zuma's doing around these parts. Hey, guys, Zuma said. How are you today? Do you think we could have a chat inside? Hey, said Sam. What do you want to chat about, Zuma? Are you, is everything OK? Yeah, there's no emergency today. So they went inside. And Peppa was just on the computer and Fireman Sam was just hanging his jacket up. When Zuma said, Guys, do you think that it, it would be cool if I could join the Pontapandi rescue team on the lifeboat side of things? What a cool idea, Pepper said. And Sam said, That is a really cool idea. We could always do with an extra pair of hands, or in your case, an extra pair of paws. It would be really cool. So what could I do? asked Zuma. Well, you'd have to do a load of training first, said Sam and Pepper, but it's definitely an option. And Zuma got really excited and couldn't believe that Sam and Pepper was thinking about leaving him be a part of the team. And Zuma was really excited, so he starts going round and round in circles, and he said, look, Sam, look what I can do on my hovercraft. Wow! And the best part is, I can do this over sand or grass. So if there's ever an emergency that involves me going onto the beach quickly, I can do it. That was really cool, Zuma. You did a great job. So maybe soon you'll have a cool training course to go through with Pepper and Fireman Sam. But that's for another day. So Sam and Pepper were really excited about training up Zuma, and Zuma couldn't believe his luck. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper.
General Zod. When he finally sees the supervillain General, the General tries to take him out off his tower. I'll get you, said General Zod. But when he fails to take out the tower on his first attempt, he comes back for more. But he still can't take out Superman. He won't get me that fast, said Superman. So Superman zaps him with his laser eye and flips him over. Oh no, General Zod said. I'm stuck. I'll get you up now, but you won't be terrorizing these towns anymore, man. So Superman, with his superpower, lifted the car up back onto its four wheels like if it was nothing now general you're going to prison not prison not again said general zod superman said you should be in there for a long time this time and i don't want to see you terrorizing these towns again but general said no superman don't take me back to prison i hate it there you deserve what you get, General Zod. So Superman managed to catch the supervillain, General Zod, and take him back to the prison. The Paw Patrol Car Show. Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig were the judges for this year's Paw Patrol Car Show. When Sam and Peppa said, where is everyone? It won't be long now, said Sam. Everyone should be here, and then we can get down to judging each one and see who's the best. So I wonder who would turn up first, said Peppa. So they waited patiently, and out of nowhere came Ryder. And Ryder said, hey guys, how are you? And Sam and Peppa were just great, followed by Rocky. Wow, Rocky so cool. And then Rubble came in. And Pepper loved Rubble because he's the same colour as Pepper's jacket. So Sam and Pepper moved out of the way and jumped on top of Jupiter. When Marshall came in, and as you can imagine, Fireman Sam loves Marshall because he's got a cool fire engine. But who's next? It's only our favourite police dog, Chase. So Chase comes in and says, Guys, everyone's cars are looking so cool and clean. So it was up to Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig to jump down and start judging the competition. So it's quite simple. The competition works. Everyone comes out and Peppa and Sam will pick the winners at the end. So let's go. Once everyone had shown their cars off, it was time for Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig to pick their winners. And the, the rules are, Fireman Sam gets to pick a winner and Peppa Pig. So that means there's going to be two winners. But who would they pick? Everyone's cars, quads, 
fire engines, tractors were looking so good. Of course, Peppa picked Rubble as her winner because it's such a cool little tractor and Peppa Pig loves yellow and Rubble is yellow. And of course Sam picked Marshall as his winner because he said, with a fire engine we can save loads of lives and he loves fire engines. But that doesn't mean that Ryder, Rocky or Chase is a loser. When Sam said, come on guys, let's all go down the ice cream parlour. I'll treat you all to some really nice ice cream as a day out. So really, everyone's a winner because they all had a great car show and they all had some fun down the ice cream parlour. But if you were a judge, who would you pick? We all have our different favourite characters. Who would you pick? Would you pick maybe Ryder, Chase or Rocky to be your favourite this year? But there's always next year for Ryder, Chase and Rocky. But hey, you never know, there may be some new characters soon too. So come on then guys, let's go. Let's go to the ice cream parlour and I'll treat you all. So what a great day everyone had. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. At the Paw Patrol police station, Chase has just arrived back after patrolling the beat and making sure the town was safe. When Rubble turns up, and Chase said, Hey Rubble, how are you? And Rubble was just fine. And he said, I've just come over to see how you are. So he jumps out of his tractor. And Chase said, I've had a great day. And he jumps out of his police car. But as he jumps out, he lands awkwardly and hurts his paw. Oh no, said Rubble, as he ran over to see Chase. And Chase said, My paw, my paw. You need to get some help quick. So Rubble manages to call for help from an ambulance. So they wait patiently for the ambulance to turn up. Wow, they said that was really quick. And look who's driving, said Rubble. It's only Batman. And Batman said, I've got this. As he opens the back. And the trolley comes out. So do you think we could get Chase onto the bed so we can get him back into the ambulance? And Chase says, I'll try my best. So Trace is never going to give up. So he tries his best to jump on and he manages it. Great work, said Batman. That's made my job a lot easier. So let's get you back into the back of this truck. So with a helping hand, we have to help Batman out and put Chase into the back. And now it's up to Batman and Rubble to save the day and take him to the hospital. Great job, said Rubble. Do you think I could come with you, Batman? Of course, Rubble. Jump in. Chase would really like to wake up with you next to him. So Rubble jumps into the ambulance and so does Batman. And now it's time for them to head off and save the day by taking Chase to the hospital. So finally Chase gets a little bit of help. Don't forget to subscribe. The day had come for Zuma to start his training with Fireman Sam. But where's Pepper? asked Zuma. Sam said, Pepper's just at Ponta Pandy. But that was just a test. Pepper Pig is actually waiting for Zuma to save her. So off we go, said Sam. Let's go to our first checkpoint. And our first checkpoint was the fire tower at Ponta Pandy. So in came Sam and said, See Zuma, all you have to do is just drive around and make sure everything's fine. Everything looks just fine here, said Sam. It's quite simple, said Zuma. It's only simple when nothing's happening. It's when things happen, it gets complicated and you have to know what to do. And it's just a gut reaction. So you just need to feel and go with your feeling. So follow me, said Sam. Let's go. And Zuma zooms off on his hovercraft to follow Sam. 
But oh no, Peppa Pig was in trouble. But this was just a test for Zuma. Shall we see what Zuma does? And Zuma was at sea, in the icy snowy conditions, which are really dangerous. But luckily, she's got a life jacket on, which has saved her life. But would Zuma do the right thing? Oh no, Zuma said. Look, it's Peppa Pig. So Zuma zooms over, and Peppa Pig, hold on, shouted Zuma. So Peppa held on, and then Zuma called for Sam. Great job, Zuma. You might have saved Peppa Pig's life there. Let me get Peppa. So Sam swivels round and said, Come on, Peppa, jump on. So Peppa climbs aboard. Fireman Sam's Neptune. Wow, you did a great job, Zuma, in these snowy conditions. You saved Peppa's life. Because without you helping her, she could have froze. Or we could have been left there forever. But this was just a test, Zuma. Peppa jumped in bravely to see if you would do the right thing. And you did. And do you know what this means? This means you got the job. You are now part of the Ponta Pandi rescue crew. And Zuma couldn't believe it and shouted, Woohoo! Thanks, Peppa. Thanks, Sam. Don't forget to subscribe, said Zuma. Ryder and Zuma had just come across the Gotham City Jail. And Ryder said, Look at this, Zuma. It looks like an abandoned jail. And so it does, Zuma said. Wow, I wonder what's behind these big doors. It could only be one thing, Zuma said. It must be the control centre to operate the jail. And it's got all these evil villains on them. Maybe we shouldn't be here, said Ryder. But Zuma said, Look, the door's opening, and there's someone behind it. And who is it? Who are you? asked Ryder. And the Joker said, Who am I? You don't know who I am? And Zuma said, No, who are you? I'm the Joker. Really? I've never heard of you, said Ryder. You've never heard of the Joker? That could only mean one thing, that you guys don't know trouble when you see it. What do you mean, Zuma said, and Zuma tried to get away, but the Joker grabbed Zuma's hovercraft by one of the blades, and Ryder said, Oi, get off my friend, and he hit the Joker over with his quad bike, and Zuma came back, but the Joker was putting up a fight. But eventually, they managed to knock over the Joker, working as a team. But the Joker gets straight back up. And now what are they going to do? It looks like Ryder and Zuma can't defend themselves anymore. But, Batman comes in. And Batman said, Oi, Joker, what do you think you're doing? And he, as he jumps on the Joker... And Batman said, Guys, what are you doing round these parts? Don't you know who the Joker is? Of course we don't, Ryder and Zuma said. And Batman explained, He's one of the most evilest villains around. And he's not just any villain, he's a super villain. It takes us superheroes to take him down every time he causes trouble. And he still keeps coming back. So you guys get out of here and stay safe. And I don't ever want to see you around these parts again. Thanks, Ryder and Zuma said. So it was up to Batman to finish off the Joker. Ha ha. Messing with innocent people again, Joker. I see. It's time for you to spend a little bit of time back in jail. So as Batman put the Joker back into jail... The Joker couldn't believe he was caught again and it was time for him to have some time to himself. He excited about training up Zuma and Zuma right couldn't believe his luck and Zuma don't forget to just subscribe. Come across.
said Peppa. The Gotham City Jail. And Ryder said, look at this, Uma. It looks like an abandoned jail. And so it does, Zuma said. Wow, I wonder what's behind these big doors. It could only be one thing, Zuma said. It must be the control centre to operate the jail. And it's got all these evil villains on them. Maybe we shouldn't be here, said Ryder. But Zuma said, ah, Look, the door's opening. And there's someone behind it. And who is it? Who are you? asked Ryder. And the Joker said, Who am I? You don't know who I am? And Zuma said, No. Who are you? I'm the Joker. Really? I've never heard of you, said Ryder. You've never heard of the Joker? That could only mean one thing. That you guys don't hold trouble when you see it. What do you mean? Zuma said. And Zuma tried to get away. But the Joker grabbed Zuma's hovercraft by one of the blades. And Ryder said, Oi! Get off my friend! And he hit the Joker over with his quad bike. And Zuma came back. But the Joker was putting up a fight. But eventually, they managed to knock over the Joker, working as a team. But the Joker gets straight back up. And now what are they going to do? It looks like Ryder and Zuma can't defend themselves anymore. But Batman comes in. And Batman said, Oi, Joker, what do you think you're doing? And he, as he jumps on the Joker. And Batman said, Guys, what are you doing around these parts? Don't you know who the Joker is? Of course we don't, Ryder and Zuma said. And Batman explained, he's one of the most evilest villains around. And he's not just any villain, he's a super villain. It takes us superheroes to take him down every time he causes trouble. And he still keeps coming back. So you guys get out of here and stay safe. And I don't ever want to see you around these parts again. Thanks, Ryder and Zuma said. So it was up to Batman to finish off the Joker. Ha ha. Messing with innocent people again, Joker, I see. It's time for you to spend a little bit of time back in jail. So as Batman put the Joker back into jail, the Joker couldn't believe he was caught again. And it was time for him to have some time to himself in the jail. And Batman said, Joker, you may as well give up. Pig. You'll never win this war. The pig's garage. He was waiting for Ryder to come round. Of the world. And Ryder was going to have his air pressure checked in his tyres. So here he is now. Hey, Daddy Pig, Ryder shouted. How are you today? I'm just great, Daddy Pig said. Do you want to park up in the garage and we can get your tyres checked ASAP? So Ryder reverses into the garage. And Daddy Pig said, good job. Let me just move round over there. And as Daddy Pig moved round, he could smell something in the air. Can you smell that, Ryder? What is it, Daddy Pig? Said Ryder. Smells like smoke to me. I don't know, what could it be? So Daddy and Ryder looked up. And it was the garage. The garage was on fire. So Ryder made a quick exit and moved out of the way. And Daddy Pig phones for help. And who did he phone? Only the one and only Marshall, who's just signed up on the Pontapandi Fire Brigade from Paw Patrol. And he said, no worries, Ryder, Marshall is on his way. Not Marshall, he said. Marshall's one of my best friends. And here he is now with Fireman Sam. Wow. What's happened here, Daddy Pig, shouted Fireman Sam. And Daddy Pig said, I don't know. Do you think you guys can put it out for me? We really need this garage in the family. So Fireman Sam jumps out and said, Marshall, reverse up and use your telescopic arm to put the fire out. Great job, Marshall, shouted Ryder. 
So slowly but surely, Marshall manages to put one fire out. And now he needs to work on the second fire. So he moves into position. And soon, the second fire was put out. Wow! Great job, said Sam. So now it was time for Marshall to go right round to the other side of the garage, where the third and last fire was. And eventually, he put all the fire out, all on his own. Wow! You've showed some true spirit today, said Daddy. And Daddy Pig couldn't believe how quick Marshall and Fireman Sam was here to put the fire out. So Sam said, what do you think of our new recruit, Daddy Pig? Well, if he can put a fire out that quick, he's good in my books. And it turns out that Ryder and Marshall are best friends. So this could work out for everyone. So Daddy Pig was happy that Marshall and Fireman Sam managed to save the garage. After. So now we can get on garage. with checking riders. When there's titles. two very special guests to come over today. Said Marshall. We've got Ryder from Paw Patrol and Chase from Paw Patrol coming over. So what are they coming over for, Pepper? Well, we'll wait until Ryder and Chase come over and we'll ask them ourselves. Hey, Ryder, how are you? Asked Pepper. I'm great. How are you? Asked Ryder. Pepper was fantastic. She said, I can't believe I'm going to service your quad bike and Chase's car today. I'm really excited. Hey, Chase. How are you today? Chase was great. So are you guys ready to get your cars and your quad bike serviced? So Ryder and Chase were really excited about getting the service done today. They're going to make their quad and car super quick. So Pepper said, who's first then, guys? Is it going to be Chase or Ryder? And Chase said, shall I go first? I'll make things a little bit easier for all of us. Great job. Oh, that tickles, said Chase. What are you doing? I'm just changing your oil and your oil filter, Pepper said. This is going to make your police car run a lot smoother. Oh, fantastic, Chase said. I can't wait till you're finished to start her up and see what she sounds like. All done. Wow, Ryder said. That was really quick, Pepper. Great job. Oh, wow. You did a really good job, Pepper. My car feels super quick, Chase said. Wow, you're Ryder. You're going to love this. So Chase moved out of the way to allow Ryder to reverse up onto the platform. Wow. So now it's Ryder's turn. Oh. Ryder's going to stay on his quad to get the service done. But we're going to do the same to Ryder. Pepper's going to change the oil filter and the oil. Because every so often, whether it be motorbikes or cars or quad bikes or even boats, everything needs to be serviced at some point. Wow, what a great job you did, Pepper. Do we owe you any money for it? Of course not, Pepper said. What would you give me money for? Well, you did a job for us, so we just thought we'd pay you. But Pepper didn't want to be paid. Pepper said, remember you helped me and George out the other day in the park? Well, that was your favour to us, and now this is my favour to you. Oh, thanks, Pepper, Chase and Ryder said. So Pepper said, you should never forget what your friends did for you. If your friends do something nice for you, you should always do something nice back for them. It's just really nice to help people out when you can. So Chase said, right, let's go, Ryder. So Ryder and Chase headed off into the distance, back to Paw Patrol land, leaving Peppa Pig at the mechanic's garage. And now it was Peppa's turn just to clean up for the day. So Peppa Peppa really enjoyed Ryder. being a mechanic for and the George. day. I would really park. like to do it again. And it was a really snowy day. So if you like this episode, so Pepper had a great don't idea. Don't forget to subscribe. Said, 
Do you think Let you could help us build a snowman? Wow! Great idea, Pepper, said Ryder. As the snow fell, and it was perfect conditions to build a snowman, and George was really excited. So Ryder said, we need to make the head, the body, we need to find some eyes, we need to find arms, and a mouth. So let's get going, and let's make his body first. So Pepper and George rolled the body, while Ryder decided to go for the head, and he rolled the head with his quad bike. Wow! Now all we need to do is lift the head on top of the body. But it's too heavy for Pepper, George and Ryder, so how are they going to do it? There's only one solution, and that is... Superman! So Superman comes over and said, Hey guys, I was just flying over and I seen you guys are struggling to lift this head on. I can do this for you, no problem. You just watch. So Superman grabs the head of the snowman and places it on top of the body. Wow, great job Superman, Ryder said. Thanks. That's really helped us out. So what's next? So when the head was placed on top of the body, it was time for Pepper and George to put some buttons on his belly. Wow, they used smarties to do that. And now the eyes was put on by Ryder. And now we need some arms. So Superman put the arms on. And finally they put the mouth on. So between them, Pepper, George, Ryder and Superman, we all worked as a team to build one of the best snowmans around. And that's what the festive period is all about. Snowy Enjoying day. your time with your friends. And Batman so if you get a chance to build a snowman back please do. to the Gotham City Jail. Don't forget to subscribe. When Batman Let's slides help. about and it looks like he can't get no traction. Oh no, said Batman. It looks like I can't go anywhere. And because the snow was so thick, Batman couldn't get anywhere in his two-wheel drive car. But he phones for help. I think I'm going to need someone powerful and strong for this job, said Batman. But who could I ring? I'd got just the people in mind, Batman said. And who would Batman have in mind? Only Ryder, with his quad bike which is perfectly adapted to driving in the snow. And who else would it be? Of course, it would be Chase, who not only can clear snow, but he can also push things out of the way. Perfect choice, Batman. And Ryder and Chase are really excited about helping Batman out, because Batman is normally helping other people out. But this time, Ryder and Chase can help Batman out. So Ryder said, right, I'll pull, Chase you push. So working as a team, Ryder and Chase came up with a cool plan to get Batman back to the Gotham City Jail. So as Ryder pulls, Chase pushes. Wow, it's working, said Batman. Great job, guys. We'll be back at Gotham City Jail before we know it. But Chase goes ahead to clear some of the snow. And Chase said, I need to clear all this snow away so we can park Batman's car up for the evening so then he could drive it away. So back and forth, Chase goes, clearing the snow for Batman. What a cool idea, Chase. Not only is he one of the best police dogs around, He's also one of the most intelligent. So again, Ryder and Chase push and pull at the same time. And Batman couldn't believe how quickly they got Batman back to the Gotham City Jail. Great job, guys. Thank you very much, said Batman. That's okay, said Ryder and Chase. You're one of our most favourite superheroes. If you ever need us again, you know what to do. So Ryder said, right, we got to go now. But before we go, 
Chase said, don't forget to subscribe. Rubble was at the playground fixing one of the swings after it had got loose after someone had been playing on it too hard. And out of nowhere came some of the best firefighters around, Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig. And they came in so quick that Pepper Pig accidentally flipped over the fire engine. Oh no, look, Sam nearly came out. And Rubble looks over and couldn't believe what he was seeing. So he jumped out of his tractor and said, Are you okay, Sam? But Sam and Peppa were fine, luckily enough. And Rubble said, Wow, you guys are really lucky. That could have been a lot worse than it was. I know, said Sam. Peppa Pig just didn't see the side of the swings and hit it by accident. What are we going to do? But Rubble came up with a really cool idea. And he said, Shall we try to lift the fire engine up with the front of my tractor? The bucket's really strong. I'm sure it could lift it up. And Sam said, what a great idea, Rubble. I hope it works, because we would be saved. And we need to get back to Ponta Pandy fast. So Rubble tries his best, but Sam and Pepper are in the way again. Oh no, you'll have to move out of the way, Pepper and Sam. So Rubble puts back down the fire engine slowly as Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig move. So Rubble couldn't believe that he just did that. Wow, said Pepper. That was great job, Rubble. You really saved the day today. Paw Patrol to the rescue again? Really? That's just too cool. So Sam jumps in and said, this is just like new. We didn't even scratch it. And Pepper gives Rubble a big hug to say thank you. And Rubble went all shy, because he really likes Pepper Pig. So Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig said, right, we have to go now, Rubble. Thanks. If you ever need us, though, you know where we are. And don't forget, we can always come if you need us one day. So Rubble managed to save the day for Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig. And that's what friends are for, are to help out. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Rubble was working on the Ponta Pandy fire station and he was fixing one of the tiles that's come loose which created a leak inside. So everyone had gone on their dinner break when Rubble fell and he got stuck on the roof so he shouted for help. So Marshall came flying out of the Ponta Pandy fire station and he said, what's, what's the matter? And he couldn't believe that Rubble was stuck on top of the roof. So he phones for help and he phones Chase to make sure everything's going to be okay. So Chase comes round and says, Oh no, Rubble, what are you doing up there? And Rubble said, Help guys, quick. I'm only holding on by one paw. So Chase climbs up and he says, Try to jump down. But Rubble couldn't jump down. Rubble was too scared. So Marshall went off and he said, Right, I'm going to have to get the helicopter for this. So Marshall comes in in the Ponta Pandy helicopter and he says come on Rubble you'll have to grab on but Rubble was really really scared and he said it'll be okay just hold on with your two paws onto my yellow bar at the bottom okay I'll do it said Rubble so Marshall flew over for Rubble to grab on so once Rubble had grabbed on he said come on let's go so he had to place him down the rubble was really, really scared, but he said, quick, go down. But Marshall had to go down slowly. He couldn't just drop rubble. So finally, he gets down and rubble jumps off. Whew, that was a close call, said Chase, as Marshall landed. And Chase and Marshall were so happy that they saved one of their best friends. And rubble was really happy that Chase and Marshall was there to save the day. So this is a case of Paw Patrol to the rescue, said Chase. And Marshall and Chase saved their best friend. Don't forget to subscribe, said Marshall. Pepper goes for a walk. Pepper's walking, having a good time, and sees someone on the floor. Pepper says, hey mister, what are you doing laying down on the floor? 
Oh no, he'll need an ambulance, Peppa says. Who should we call? So Peppa calls. Batman. Hey Batman, Peppa says. Wow, Peppa, what have you found here? Batman says. Batman says, whoa, this guy needs help. Pepper, jump into the ambulance and drive it over here. So Pepper goes to the ambulance and drives it into a nice position for Batman. Opening the back doors, there's a trolley to put the person on who's laying on the floor. So Batman goes to get the trolley and with a helping hand Batman's got the guy on the trolley and he says right Pepper I'm going to push him in now so Batman pushes the guy into the back of the ambulance on the cool trolley So Batman then closes the doors. Oh no, he fell back out. So with an helping hand, Batman pushes the doors shut. There we go, Pepper. Let's go. Let's get this guy to safety, Batman says. So Batman jumps into the ambulance with Pepper and they both go off to save the person they found laying on the floor. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and the guy is safe after all. Fireman Sam had just finished a busy day at the Ponta Pandi fire station when he was expecting a very special guest today. I wonder who could it be? Of course, it's none other than the one and only Marshall from Paw Patrol. And Marshall was dying to meet Sam and to see Jupiter. And Sam said, hey Marshall, how are you? Marshall was just fine today. And he was really excited about his trip to Pontipandi Fire Station. So Marshall jumps out of his fire engine and said hi Sam it's finally nice to meet you and Sam said same to you I've been hearing such good things about the Paw Patrol rescue I really wanted to get involved myself Sam said but Marshall said I've always wanted to see what Ponte Pandy's all about I've heard so much about it from Peppa Pig Ryder and Chase and Zuma really Sam said do you want to see Jupiter? Of course! So Marshall and Fireman Sam take a closer look at Jupiter. And Marshall has heard such good things about the famous Jupiter who's put out so many fires in her time. Wow! So cool! Look at all them wheels you got. You got so many doors as well. Have you had her long? She's been here from the start, said Sam. Years. So Marshall and Sam said, Maybe we could work as a team someday. That would be really cool. We could put fires out together, rescue people together, and drive our fire engines together. What a great idea, said Sam. Do you want to have a look at my fire engine, asked Marshall. Jump in, Sam. Don't be shy. So Sam jumps in to Marshall's fire engine and couldn't believe how nice it was. Wow, I love the fact I can just stand up while I'm driving. It gives me a chance to see everything that's going on. So today was just about Marshall and Fireman Sam meeting up and maybe being a team one day. Because everyone on the Ponta Pandi Paw Patrol love to work as a team. So Marshall's going to stick around for a bit, I think. And Sam's really in love with Marshall's fire engine. Don't forget to subscribe! Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam and Tom Thomas were all discussing why they need to have three fire engines in Ponte Pandy. And Peppa said, mine's the best fire engine. 
But Tom Thomas said, I'm sure mine's the best. Look at it. It's so cool. And Sam said, Come on, guys. We all know Jupiter's the best. What makes you think yours is the best, Pepper? So that got him thinking. Do they really need to have three fire engines in Ponta Pandy? Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. But Pepper said, just look guys, I got this cool ladder on top, which nothing else has. I've got a hose pipe on one side, I've got a cool siren on top, and I've got another hose pipe on the back. And this ladder has saved so many people, it'd be silly to get rid of my fire engine. You're right, said Sam. You've saved a lot of people with that. But what about Jupiter? We've got the cool sirens on top. We've got six wheels, which gives us great traction in any conditions. We've got a hose on one side. We've got this cool crane on top, which is priceless, because we've saved so many people with this one. And on the other side, we have another hose so that must mean Jupiter's the best. So Tom Thomas said, Come on, guys. We all know Venus is the best. Because we've got this cool hose on top. We've got horns on top. And we've got sirens. We've got hooks. Front and back. We've got a huge water tank on top. So that definitely means... Mine's the best. But Sam said, Come on, guys. I'm kind of thinking about it. I think... Ponta Pandy wouldn't be the same without one of these fire engines. So we must need them all. The fact is, every single one of these fire engines have all saved someone's life at some stage. So they are priceless in that respect. So everyone agreed that they couldn't do the job without the other. Jupiter is everyone's favourite, really, said Sam. But Jupiter wouldn't be nothing without Pepper's fire engine or Venus. So as it goes, it turns out that Ponta Pandy need every single fire engine they have, because they all serve a great purpose. So that's why we have three fire engines, Pepper. Don't forget to subscribe! Tom Thomas was at the Ponta Pandy office playing with his new remote control helicopter which is just like the real one down in Ponta Pandy. And as he was playing with it he was having lots and lots of fun. But he was waiting for Sam to come round to see his new remote control helicopter. Wow, said Sam, is this it? It's really big for a remote control one. Said Sam, look it's half the size of us. That's it, said Tom Thomas. It's really good. It's made of metal, and it's really fast as well, and agile. Do you think I could have a go, said Fireman Sam? Well, I don't know, said Tom Thomas. You haven't really used it before, and it's really dangerous if you don't use it correctly, said Tom Thomas. I'll be all right, said Sam. You know I'm really good at driving helicopters. Yeah, I know, but this one could be really difficult, as it's only a little toy helicopter. But Tom Thomas agrees to give Fireman Sam a go anyway, even though he hasn't had experience before driving one. So Fireman Sam says, come on Tom Thomas, chuck me the road controller. So he goes over to get the controller off Tom Thomas. So once Fireman Sam has got the controller, he can have a go, and up into the sky the remote control helicopter went. But oh no, it got out of control and it hit the side of the office. Oh no, look, it fell down, said Sam, and they rushed over to see if it was okay. Luckily, the helicopter was just fine, and even more luckily, no one got hurt, and this is why you should always learn before you take things up in the sky. But at least nothing was hurt, nobody was hurt, and the helicopter is just fine, said Tom Thomas. But at least they both had loads of fun. If you liked the little remote control helicopter that Fireman Sam and Tom Thomas played with today, don't forget to subscribe and comment in the box below. 
Fireman Sam and Officer Steele are waiting for Nurse Flood, because Nurse Flood has forgot her stretcher. And without the stretcher, Nurse Flood can't do her medical jobs, because if she needs to put someone on it, she won't have it. So Nurse Flood comes back to see Fireman Sam and Officer Steele. So with a helping hand, Nurse Flood gets out of her car, closes the door and said, Oh guys, thanks for keeping this safe for me. I totally forgot all about it, said Nurse Flood. She said, Now all we have to do is figure out how it's going to go in my little car. Because I've only brought the little car this time. So Officer Steele said, It's way too big to go inside. I got a cool idea. So Officer Steele goes off to get some Play-Doh. And he said, See nurse, what we can do is put this Play-Doh on your roof. And then we can put the stretcher on top of the roof, on top of the Play-Doh. And it'll stick to the Play-Doh and it won't go anywhere. So Officer Steele, with a helping hand, places the Play-Doh on the roof. So flatten out the Play-Doh. So the so then Fireman Sam goes over and said, I'll put the stretcher on top. So with a helping hand, Fireman Sam put the stretcher on top of the Nurse Flood's little medical car. And then Fireman Sam goes and stands on the second floor of the office just to see how it looks. And he said, it looks great from up here, Nurse Flood. Wow, thanks guys. You've helped me a lot today. So with a helping hand, Nurse Flood gets back into her little medical car. It's quite a tight squeeze. It's such a small little car, she says. So Fireman Sam said, Be careful now, Nurse Flood. In your small little medical car. So Nurse Flood goes off. Leaving Fireman Sam and Officer Steele to hopefully get ready for the next job. So Officer Seal said, thanks for helping me put that on the roof for you, man, Sam. Let's get back to work. Don't forget to subscribe. Pepper Pig and Officer Steel were at the Ocean Rescue Centre when they could hear Elvis shouting from upstairs. So they turned around and Elvis said, look, look, the Ocean Rescue Centre's on fire, quick. How did this happen? said Pepper. Oh no, so they all run away. But Pepper said, right, we need some help for this job. So she gets on the phone, but who will she call? We ring in, asked Elvis. I'm going to ring one of our new recruits, Marshall, to help us with this job. But they couldn't go anywhere because Sam was out in the boats, and they couldn't get to the helicopter because the fire was stopping them getting there. But Marshall shows up in quick time. And everyone said, quick, Marshall, help us. So Marshall turns the fire engine round and starts putting it out. But Sam managed to come back with Venus. But he didn't get the boats. And Sam jumps on top of Venus and starts putting the fire out. So slowly but surely, the fire started to go out. And then Marshall done a great job putting his fire out in super quick time. Great job, said Officer Steele, but now it was Sam's turn, and Sam was struggling to put one fire out, but eventually he managed to put it out. Just one more fire now, on the step, and all will be well at the Ocean Rescue Centre. So once this fire was put out, Marshall said, great job Sam, you really did a good job. So they were all really happy, so finally they can all relax, and the fire was out. But what started the fire? asked Officer Steele. I don't know, said Elvis. I just came upstairs and then the fire was started. So Elvis and Peppa Pig jumps into Marshall's fire engine. You deserve to relax. Take it for a little drive and I'm sure you'll feel a lot better when you come back. 
So Peppa Pig and Elvis head off for a little drive around Pontapandi, leaving Marshall, Officer Steele and Fireman Sam at the Ocean Rescue Centre. Great job, said Officer Steele. I'm proud of you boys. You're really serving Pontapandi well and you're keeping us all safe. Don't forget to subscribe, said Marshall. Fireman Sam, Officer Steele, were at the new Ocean Rescue Centre when they were just waiting for their first job when all of a sudden the phone rings I think it's time said Officer Steele and Officer Steele said quick it's Peppa Pig and George they are both stuck on Grandpa's boat and they need rescuing fast it's on fire Peppa said so Fireman Sam jumps in the jet ski let's go said officer Steele one two three go so that's the jet ski gone and officer Steele follows meanwhile on the boat Pepper and George are scared you can see the fires blazing on one side of the boat and they've gone to the other side just to be safe. They don't want to jump in because they might drown. When in comes Fireman Sam on the jet ski and said, Right, George, you're going to have to jump on. And George was really scared. But Pepper said, Don't be scared, it's Fireman Sam. Just jump on and you'll be safe. So Pepper jumps on the jet ski and now is Peppa's turn to be saved how am I going to be saved shout Peppa what am I going to do officer Steele is coming now fireman Sam said just wait there the fire's not getting out of control yet said fireman Sam soon comes officer Steele and Tom Thomas and officer Steele said come on Peppa jump on so officer Steele places the boat next to Peppa's granddad's boat and Peppa jumped on and now it's time to fight the fire said fireman Sam come on Tom Thomas let's do this so they point the hoses at the boat and slowly but surely the fires going out Peppa and George are really relieved to be safe and officer Steele said come on we can do better than this and the fire is slowly put out. Great job. So once the fire is out, they can see what started the fire. And, and it seems like Pepper and George have had a bonfire of some sort on the boat. And that's what's caused the boat to catch fire. That's really dangerous, said Fireman Sam and Officer Steele. And Pepper said, I know guys, I'm sorry. And George also said he's sorry. And Sam explained, you can't ever have a barbecue on a boat like this. It's just too dangerous, guys. You need to be a lot safer in the future and make sure an adult's with you as well. I never want to see you out on a boat again on your own, said Fireman Sam. At least everyone's safe and everyone will go back to Pontypandy Fire Station safe and sound. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. At the Pont Pandy fire station, it's the end of the day and everyone's finished their shifts. Nurse Blood said, Sam, have you seen Postman Pat? I've been waiting all day for my special delivery and he hasn't showed up anywhere. And Sam and Thomas said, he hasn't been here either. He's definitely running late. It's not like Postman Pat, he's normally always on time. Nurse Blood said, I hope he hurries up. At the sorting office, Postman Pat's got this new machine, but because he's been installing it all day, he's lost a load of time. So as you can see, the machine helps with the parcels and the special deliveries. So the machine helps Sam 
get more parcels through the plant a lot quicker. And Jess is just sitting there watching all the parcels fall off the conveyor belt. And Postman Pat said, this is really quick. It's a shame we've been installing it all morning and we've lost a load of time. So because Pat and Jess has lost a lot of time, we'll have to give him a helping hand. So we can speed the process up for him. So Fireman Sam, Nurse Flood and Tom Thomas can get their parcels before they go home. So come on, Postman Pat, jump in the van and check the stock. So we turn the van around and we close the back doors. And now it's time to jump in the van and head off to Pond the Pandy. Come on, Jess, said Postman Pat. Thanks for the helping hand, guys. Let's go. So Postman Pat jumps in the van with Jess. Let's go. So they head off to Ponta Pandy Fire Station. Nurse Flood shouts, There's Postman Pat now. I can see him. Fireman Sam said, I'm so happy he's come before I, I'm going home. Wow. Nurse Flood said, Look at your new van. Postman Pat. I bet you've got some cool special deliveries in there today. So Postman Pat turns the van around and jumps out of his new van. And as you can see, there's a load of parcels in this van today, said Postman Pat. So come on, Sam, can we give me a hand? So Sam helps Postman Pat by helping him get the parcels out of his new van. So Tom Thomas comes to have a look and said, Wow, you've got a load of stuff in there today, Postman Pat. How did you manage? And Pat said, I put this new machine in the plant today, but it's taken me all morning to install it, but I just, I just couldn't get it set up right. But now I'm here and everything should be fine. So with a helping hand, we'll get all the parcels out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parcels, said Fireman Sam. Are they all for us? Nurse Flood said, I've got one or two, haven't I, Postman Pat? And Postman Pat said, yeah. Here's yours, Nurse Flood. We'll find Nurse Flood's parcel. And here it is. It's it's a shaped in a little pig or dog type shape parcel, said Sam. There it is. So with a helping hand, we'll load up Nurse Flood's little ambulance. And then she can take it home and open her parcels at home. That's a pretty cool little parcel you've got, Nurse Flood said Sam. So we placed the parcel in the back of Nurse Flood's van and closed the boot. So there we go Nurse Flood. It's ready for you to take away now. So Nurse Flood jumps into her little ambulance and off she goes to her house to open her parcel with her family. But Sam said, these can't all be for me, surely, Postman Pat. And Pat said, they most certainly are. Every single one is for you, Sam. I think it's office supplies and maybe some, some collections that you've been collecting. I just don't know. So finally, Postman Pat managed to set up his new...